Right. So, good afternoon, guys. So, in the previous session, we discussed a program, right? Uh, that is fetching all the words starts with the consonant and with vowel. That is what we have seen uh, in normal way, and also by using the comprehension, right? By using the comprehension. Let us try some more examples uh, with the comprehension, guys. Let us try some more examples with the comprehension. Okay, for example, imagine there's a string, uh, there's a string from there, I want to fetch all the vowels, right? For that we'll try now. Write a program to fetch all vowels, vowels from, from given string, guys, okay? From given string, uh, I want to fetch all the vowels. The string is, for example, Hyderabad, right? The string is Hyderabad, for example. In this case, what are the vowels? What are the vowels? The first vowel is E, the next one uh, A, the next one uh, again A, right? So E, A, A, so three vowels, guys. This is the required output, right? So for that, what we do? What we do, I'll take the uh, object of vowels, all vowels here, A, E, I, O, U, right? Now, from string, uh, I'll fetch one by one, I'll take here whether available or not available. If available here, then I'll take as a, as a, okay, uh, <clears throat> right, uh, uh, element of the list uh, in the result, right? Suppose uh, H is there, H is not there here, right? So it's a, uh, it's not a vowel. Next, Y, Y is not available, is also not a vowel. Next, D, D is not available, not a vowel. E, E is available, so it's a vowel. So Okay, take in the okay, result list. Next, R, same like that we fetch uh, a one by one from the given string and check in the vowel set. Right? To fetch one by one from the given string, we use uh, for I in ST. Now, one by one will come. What's first time I value? First time I value is uh, H will come. That H, check in the vowels uh, if that H, H means I in vowels uh, V. If it's available, if it's available, then go to this block. I am appending to the new list, guys. Append to the append to the new list. We take the we take the one new list, which is empty list. Okay, append to new list. Next one, what next one here? I value. Okay, why? Why is coming right? Already H came. H is not available. Now why is coming right? I value is the why. That Y is available in the vowels. Yes or no? No, not available. If not available, then it will not append. If not available, go for the new attraction, new I value. But new I value, D will come, right? Now, if D in vowels are true or false, false. False means append will not execute. It's a false, so start the new attraction. The new attraction, new I value, which one? E, E is coming, right? So I, I means V, E. E in vowels are true or false, it is true. If it is true that I append to the new list, the new list right now, what is there empty, right? Right now, it is empty. Now the empty list, now this E will add, that E appended here, right? Huh. Next one, iteration over. Next I value, next I value is, suppose R. Now, if uh, R in vowels are true or false, false. Next iteration, A, I value is A, R, A, right, A. Now, I in vowels, uh, sorry, I means A, A in vowels, true or false, true. True means, uh, again, append that one. If it uh, if is true means what I mean here? That I value appending to the new list. Uh, I means A, so appending over, iteration on. Next iteration, which one here? Okay, uh, B is coming. Next, I value B. So B in vowels, true or false, false. So next iteration, next I value what here? Again, uh, A, A is coming. A in vowels, uh, true or false, true. True means uh, that A append to the existing list. Uh, that A append to the existing list. Uh, existing list, uh, okay, that's all, over. Next one, uh, or next one here, D. So D is coming, next one, D is coming. 
D in vowels are true or false? False. So false means what here? Don't append to the new list. Next, any value? No value for the new iteration. Means all iterations over. All iterations over. After all iterations, this is the final list, right? That I want display. So outside the for, we take the which one uh, uh, new list uh, display. Now from this one, we can get uh, this result, right? Yes. The same thing we can do in the comprehension also, guys. Very simple, right? Simply for i in uh, i in st, same for loop, right? i in st. First time i value h. If uh, i in uh, vowels, check in the vowels. Uh, if available, then uh, append to the new list. So new list means uh, we'll take the uh, uh, list format here. Then I'm going to take the print here. That's all, guys. The first one uh, is a normal program, step by step, and this is the just a comprehension. Okay, comprehension. Run this one. Uh, both are the same. Both are same, guys. Here also same. For loop is there. If condition is there, and uh, taking the i, taking to i what here for the list uh, same. Here also taking the list separately, and that one appending uh, one by one when if is true. But whenever if is true, that is taking inside the list directly here. Okay. Right. So this is the one of the ways uh, to fetch all the vowels from the given string. Given string, right? Yes. Thanks so much, all of you guys. Bye.